Blood Road is a documentary film chronicling Rebecca Rush's 1,200 mile journey to the crash site of her deceased father who was shot down in the Vietnam War. This film isn't just a grand adventure for Rebecca. It's also a story about healing. It's also a story about cultures and people coming together some 40 years later to go and accomplish a goal. I've been working in action sports for almost 10 years. We've done everything in every different sport and traveled all over the world. Rebecca came to us with a simple idea. I want to take my mountain bike the entire length of the Ho Chi Minh Trail to my father's crash site. And that's when everything started. That was good. Look at that. The methodology behind how we were going to document this film was fly in the wall, capturing things as they happened. That's very difficult to do when you're trying to keep up with one of the best endurance athletes in the world. The country of Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam are gorgeous. And in order to get those beautiful shots that really paint the picture of what it was like to be there for Rebecca, or just be there in general, we had to set up a lot of the landscapes and cultural shots, along with shooting the story as it happened in real time. Once we got on the trail, things actually simplified, but logistics of everything started to really pile up. The main problem is that to traverse the trail, we had to be on motorcycles. Now, we did have pickup trucks that would essentially take the paved roads around. The problem with that is every single day had just an immense amount of variables. The weather would change, the sun would change, clouds would come out, parts of the trail couldn't be crossed, rivers would come up that weren't there before. So the main challenge was having the most diverse amount of equipment on our backs with us most of the time so that we could react to all the variables. Two things you always carry, knife and wet wipes. It's pretty essential for being out here. Hi, my name's Ryan Young. I was the director of photography on the project Blood Road. The general plan for this uh, project was just to shoot high-end cinematography uh, in beautiful locations. We uh, picked red cameras, we love the form function. We put them on jibs and movies and, you know, carry them in our backpacks. That, that camera body by far is the most versatile camera for what we do. We chose anamorphics for the cinematic quality, right? We like the widescreen vibe. So we shot Kawas for the lower profile lenses and the Cook anamorphics. We also use a Sony a7S uh, with a PL mount so that we could uh, throw the Kawas or the Cooks on that a7. My name is Neil Goss, and I was a part of the camera department on Blood Road. We all wore mini hats. I did audio, second camera, aerial cinematography, POV. Yeah, a lot of the challenges were just getting the equipment to the locations, whether we're shooting talent or establishing aerials or scenics. It was just rugged terrain, and uh, that was the toughest part, was keeping the gear clean and working. One of the biggest moments in the film is when Rebecca actually enters the country of Laos. So in scouting, our DP, our drone pilot, and us put together this three-part shot. We wanted to fly the drone through a tree, showing a reveal down of the girls emerging on the road, entering into the country of Laos. The challenges are that you're flying a very large drone with a very expensive camera a long ways away, and it's got to be a very precise shot. Also, you have the timing. You have Rebecca and her Vietnamese teammate going on the road, you know, nearly 30, 40 miles an hour. And the reveal all has to converge at the exact same time or else the shot doesn't work. So to fly something that precise that far away took a couple of attempts. But then the problem is your light's only good for about 20 minutes. So on the third attempt, we were finally able to get the shot where we timed both Rebecca and her teammate on the road, revealing through the tree without crashing the drone, and that's why the shot worked. My advice for anyone starting out in the business that wants to be you know, a documentary filmmaker, shoot action or adventure sports, or just make films, it would be really build a vocabulary and understand what you really like. You know, Look at people and what they're doing, and then forget about it, but understand how to articulate 
what you like and what you don't like to both your cast and your crew. Just that communication is gonna simplify what you make. It's also gonna allow you to control what you make so much better and make it more rewarding ultimately.